Hi, we're just going to go over the Diels Alder reaction. Uh, the Diels Alder reaction involves um, the reaction between a diene with a dienophile with a bit of heat to give a cyclohexene ring. Now I've leveled these up um, in, in order of the carbons just to illustrate that these are the carbons that form here. So actually if we look here and here these are the two new bonds and this one here between carbons two and three was normally a, uh, before sorry it was a, a single bond it's now become a double bond so these are the areas of interest and if you're constructing new molecules and they've got cyclohexene rings in then this is probably a good um, reaction to use so how does it work here he goes here we get the diene and the alkene we have a push of electrons here here and here now it's probably best illustrated in the transition step so I'll just draw that transition step in blue so there's a diene there's the alkene this is a new bond that's forming there but the electrons, they're the interesting bit because they are almost like an aromatic system if you look here there are six electrons there three electron pairs the same kind of system we have in an aromatic ring unfortunately it can't sustain this because it needs to form a, a single bond across here and double bond here otherwise it would stay as an aromatic system so this is just the transition step which I'll put in brackets just to show that and I'll use this symbol um, which I used to use to indicate it was a transition step so once that's formed that gives us a nice cyclohexene ring system with a double bond in the right place and that is the basic Diels Alder reaction. What I'd like to talk about um, in future Diels Alder tutorials, because there will be a few more, will be um, the molecular orbitals that are used here, because this is a great example to explain molecular orbital theory. And also, I'd like to talk about the um, regioselectivity. So, for example, just before I finish this, uh, let's try and do a different colour. I use brown, don't know how well that will show up. But if I stick um, a group on here, and call that A for example, then you would have thought that A would be stuck here where carbon 5 is. Unfortunately, if this flips round to look like that, so that's 5 and that's 6 then the product, if I draw that over here, would be something like this with A here. Sorry, that A is just going off the page a little bit. So you can see that there are issues here to think about, about the uh, regiochemistry of, of uh, the Diels Alder reaction. Similarly, if you've got species here, uh, some other um, functional groups there. And we'll discuss that in more detail in uh, the next set of deals order tutorials. So that is a deals order reaction.